In this video, I'm going to show you three different ways to write and execute Python code on your computer. All right, so first things first, you need to go ahead and install Anaconda and Python in order to kind of follow along with this video. So if you don't have Anaconda installed, I have a video down below in the description. Go ahead, watch that video first, get Python on your system and Anaconda on your system, and then come back to this video and I'm gonna show you four different ways to go ahead and write Python code on your computer. So the first way and the most easiest, which doesn't involve going through a console and shell and all that type of stuff is to go to your search and just search for the Anaconda Navigator, or you can you know, go to it however you want. Maybe you have a shortcut on your desktop or something like that. Whatever method you choose to launch the Anaconda Navigator. So here we are in the Anaconda Navigator and there's you know, a little pop-up thing. Yes, I'd like to help improve, okay, whatever. And what we wanna look for is Jupyter here. Uh, it's Jupyter Notebook and we hit launch and we wait for it to launch. And so here we go, we are in Jupyter Notebook and just to get things started, now there's a lot of features and everything in Jupyter, this is not a Jupyter video, I'll probably make one of those later on in my life, but just to get things running, we'll come up here to new and you should see Python, Python 3, for example, because I installed Python 3, and boom, right here, right now, you can go ahead and write your Python code. So I could be like print, hello world. And then I can come up to run and boom, just like that, I'm writing Python code. And now there's a lot of benefits and features to using Jupyter. I highly recommend checking it out, learning more about it. And I'm gonna be using Jupyter a lot for writing code because it's very visual and it looks pretty and it's fast and you can do a bunch of stuff with it. Now there are certain limitations with like uh, coordinating with other developers and things of that nature, but for our purposes, for this channel, for the most part, we'll be using Jupyter because it's just gonna be us figuring things out, testing certain scenarios, things of that nature. So Jupyter, very powerful, very awesome. And we can launch it by going to the Anaconda Navigator. Now, another way to get to Jupyter, if you don't wanna go through the Anaconda Navigator, I think it's kind of slow way to go, is to load up the command console. So you could go to like CMD command prompt right here, or hopefully you installed Git Bash. If not, I have a video below on how to install and configure Git Bash. Highly recommend it uh, for this type of development. So you can launch Git Bash, and then we can go ahead and type in Jupyter Notebook. Press enter, and it goes ahead, and we're back inside of Jupyter now. New notebook, and we could go ahead and write our code right here. Print, hello world, and run, and boom, hello world. Oh, I spelled it wrong. But anyway, if you come back over now to uh, Git Bash, we can see that it's starting to run things. We have our kernel started, loaded, created a new notebook, and so on. So it kind of keeps track of like, basically Jupyter is like the front end, and then this is the back end of what is actually going on inside of Jupyter and inside of your system. And so basically that is two ways to get to Jupyter to write Python code. And it's both writing code in Jupyter, so maybe that's only one way. So maybe I'm only gonna show you three ways to write Python code. But anyway, that is one way or two ways to do it is to use Jupyter. And I showed you the long way by going through the Anaconda Navigator and the shortcut method by using a command prompt. I'm gonna close, get bash real quick. Okay, so this next way is to actually write it a Python code inside of the command prompt itself. So we could go ahead and load up git bash again and go ahead and launch Python. So we need to be in Python mode. So here I am in Python mode. And now I could go ahead and write Python code right into the console right here. So print hello, hello world, world, it's spell and execute and boom, just like that, it prints out hello world. So this is another way to go ahead and write code. It's very, you know, this is probably like the oldest school method for writing Python code right here in the command prompt. You know, it's not real pretty. You don't have a lot of features and things of that nature, but you know, it's one way to do it if you wanna test something real quick. Now the third or fourth way you could go ahead and write Python code on your computer and execute it is by using a combination of the command console, i.e. git bash, 
as well as a code editor. Now I'm using Atom over here, but there are plenty of code editors out there. I'll include a link to Atom down below this video if you're interested in it, it is free. But the code editor has pretty colors, helps you write code, makes sure everything's evenly spaced, has a lot of add-ons, things of that nature. You know, it's a lot easier to write code in a code editor than it is over here in the console. So that's why I usually use a code editor but I'll show you how it kind of works together. So I have my code over here and I've saved it in a file called test.py and basically I wanna go ahead and execute it over here in my console. So I wanna go actually and ex exit out of Python mode and I'm back in regular console mode and I wanna change my directory to my desktop because that's where my file is, my test.py file. And to run it, I'm gonna type in Python and test.py. And boom, just like that, I've gone ahead and executed my Python file over here. And then if I wanna go ahead and make some changes here, I could be like name equals to input, and what is your name? And I'll go ahead and print, and make some edits here, format name, and then I can go ahead and save it, save, come back over here. I can press the up arrow key to reload my previously typed out script or code. So Python test.py, hit enter. What is your name? It's Nathan. I don't want to put my last name in there. So becoming a data scientist with Nathan. And I'm like, oh, you know what? I don't want that space there. Hit it, go over here, Nathan, boom. And just like that, I'm writing Python code in my code editor and then running it through my console over here to actually execute the code. So that is three or four ways to go ahead and run Python code on your computer. Um, basically using Jupyter, you can take the long method by going through the Anaconda Navigator or the shortcut method by launching it through the console. You could also just type code directly into the console Python code once you've installed it properly and configured it. And then finally, you can use a code editor in combination with the console to execute Python code. Now, if you found this video helpful or anything like that, I appreciate any likes, comments, subscribes, things of that nature, and I hope it was helpful, and I hope you have a great day.